Tonight we are in Richmond, Virginia here at City Stadium. It is the Richmond Kickers and Forward Madison FC. It's brought to you by RVA Amigos. A festive atmosphere tonight here in RVA. It's Heritage Night and both supporters groups will be in attendance. The Red Army for the Richmond Kickers and the Flock for Forward Madison. And this is a match with major playoff implications as we take a look at the League One table. Ford Madison comes in holding that last playoff spot at 33 points. And in ninth place are the Richmond Kickers with 28 points. And David Bulow said it coming into this match. They need three points. It's crucial for them to do so if they want to get up into that mix around the fourth spot in the standings. We'll see what plays out tonight. But Matt Bulldock, a player to watch for this Richmond Kickers side. David Bulo says this is a player with great energy and he is the third longest tenured kicker. He knows what this club means. It's a dynamic player who wants to be on the ball. He runs at back lines and is a huge asset for this Richmond side. They, they missed him due to injury and it's no surprise that when he came back onto the field, this Richmond kickers attack really started getting back to their early season form. So we'll see what he can do tonight for the Richmond Kickers. On the other side for Ford Madison, we featured him before and it's for good reason as Don Smart leads this attack for Ford Madison. Seven goals this season, tied for eighth in USL League One. And Daryl Shore has said it, as the Flamingos go, so does Don Smart. It'll be interesting to see what he can do coming into this match tonight. Hasn't scored in a few matches, and this forward Madison attack looking to score multiple goals for the first time since the end of July in that match against Toronto FC. Can Don Smart be the guy to do that tonight? So will it be the kickers or will it be the Flamingos? A lot riding on this matchup here tonight in Richmond. Lineups and first kick coming up next here on ESPN+. Plus. At CBS 6, our office is out here. New faces, new players, new ownership, new challenges, new league, new opponents, new rivals, joyful, authentic, united. Still your team. Still RV is on. Still the Richmond Kickers. There's a lot of people that are vulnerable that can't fight for themselves, and that's where I can have the most impact as an investigative reporter. I see the result of people being taken advantage of. It makes me feel sick. I actually like pouring through documents. I get super excited when you find something that can hold somebody accountable. I'm Melissa Hippolyte, and I'm working for you. New faces. New players. New ownership. New challenges. New league. New opponents. New rivals. Joyful. Authentic. United. Still your team. Still RV is on. Still the Richmond Kickers. Back here at City Stadium, the team's taking to the pitch tonight. It will be Ford Madison in those white kits, and it will be the Richmond Kickers in their home red kit. So let's take a look at the starting 11 for both sides. We'll start with the home side and the Richmond Kickers. Coach by David Bulow, four changes to the lineup that saw a 4-0 loss to North Texas on the road. Joe Gallardo back into the lineup. Dennis Chin will be at the top of this formation in that back line of Magalas, Shinoski, and Akwe as well. Matt Bullduck, the player who we featured in the open, will try to provide something out of that midfield while Braden Troyer also back into the starting lineup. After his yellow card suspension, Don Smart, he will be in the starting lineup. He is out on the right wing for Ford Madison. 
Two changes, and it is Wyatt Omsberg and Carter Manley coming back into the side for Ford Madison after missing last week. Eric Leonard moves from center back to that central defensive midfield position where he has really carved out a nice season for himself. So we are just getting set for kickoff here tonight. We mentioned in the pregame and the buildup how important this match is for both sides. Richmond comes in at 28 points. Now Ford Madison comes in at 33, holding the fourth spot in that playoff race. And it is so close right now as we come into tonight. Tormenta is in action as well, along with Chattanooga. The other matchups tonight, two other matchups, one going on currently, it is Lansing and Chattanooga, the late match starting at 8 p.m. Eastern time, Tormenta and North Texas. So all three teams that are level on 33 points are playing within the next hour. Had a look at our referee, Gabriel Giusti, the 22-year-old, taking charge of 10 USL matches this year, six in the championship, four here in League One. And we are just about set to go. We're underway from City Stadium here in RVA. It's Richmond going right to left. It's Ford Madison going left to right. And who will have the upper hand in this matchup tonight? It's the rubber match between these two sides. Two one nil score lines in the two matches in Madison. One on the 10th of August that went to the Richmond Kickers. The other coming two weeks later for Ford Madison, a 1-0 win in that one. So tonight, all to play for in the season series between these two sides. A nice atmosphere with both teams, supporters groups in attendance. And it's Ford Madison coming off that 1-1 draw at home to Tormenta last week. Daryl Shore said his team had momentum in that game, but just, just couldn't put it away in the end. He was pleased with the changes made to that back line with Eric Leonard sliding back to center back from his normal number six position in the midfield. He's played some center back as this season has gone along, but has really settled into that defensive midfield position quite nicely. But no matter what came out of last weekend, Ford Madison still stayed in fourth place. And they will look to stay there, potentially increase that position as this match continues. As for the Richmond Kickers, coming off of that 4-0 loss to North Texas on the road, a very difficult match for them. But David Bulo said the scoreline obviously not what they wanted, but he wanted his team to be aggressive. He was trying to press that back line of North Texas. He said the good was really good and the bad was just not, not good at all. They're hoping that they can get things back on track here tonight at home. Last Saturday was a 1-0 win over Greenville Triumph. And we'll see if they can maybe use some of that momentum here tonight. Early ball in the box by Eric Leonard. That's Danny Tenorio. Tenorio now playing it wide for Christian Diaz. One last thing on that matchup for Richmond. Ball's now played in the middle. We'll get to that in a moment. Here's Carter Manley, his cross deflected in the air. Still around the box. Hughes able to head it away. Diaz battling for it, and Leonard comes away with it. His shot will bounce it in the hands of Akira Fitzgerald. David Bulow said of that North Texas match, there were enough good moments and enough positive things to take out of that match they can bring into this one tonight. So we'll see. But the start is for both of these sides. For Ford Madison, they've had a few chances early on. There's a look at the Red Army. It will be festive as ever tonight. It is Heritage Night here at City Stadium. Well, the flock has also made a trip here to Richmond, Virginia. They made stops along the way. They called it their eruption tour. They made stops all throughout the Midwest, went down to North Carolina as well basically all started on social media. Here's Dennis Chin getting in the box, but Wyatt Omsberg able to shield him away. And Brian Silvestre comes up to take it away. Silvestre now second in goals against average this season. All behind Dallas J, who put up another clean sheet last night for Greenville Triumph. 4-0 win for the Triumph over FC Tucson at home. Here's Danny Tenorio, a back heel for Paolo Jr. Didn't take another deflection, it did not. It will be a throw-in coming for Ford Madison. Now 
Bravo Jr., the goal scorer from last week, who will throw this in on the assist from J.C. Banks. It's actually Diaz to throw it in now. As Akwe wins it back. This team's very familiar with each other. They played each other, this is the third match within about a five-week span. This is the first one in Richmond, Virginia. Switch the field looking for Carter Manley. The two Minnesota United Lonies cross into the box. J.C. Banks lets it go through. He'll eventually get it back here in the corner. It will be a throw in for the Flamingos. Looks like early on forward Madison on the front foot. Throw in for Carter Manley. Manley gets it back. Cross into the box. Right into the middle. Don Smart was there. It falls for Joe Gallardo now. Maybe Richmond can break here. As they come upfield, Matt Bolduck looking for Dennis Chin. It's taken away by Connor Tobin, the captain for this forward Madison side. Ball into the box, looking for Danny Tenorio, and he slots it home. Forward Madison strike first. A road goal for the Flamingos. And Danny Tenorio is second of the season. Just a breakdown at the back by the Richmond kickers. Danny Tenorio, plenty of room to work. The ball in from Josiel Nunez. Ivan Magales lost track of his man. And Danny Tenorio did the rest. An easy finish for the Ecuadorian. And it's 1-0 to the roadside. Well, what a start for Ford Madison here tonight on the road. Just three wins on the road this season for Ford Madison. But you couldn't have asked for a better start here tonight. The goal officially in the sixth minute. Just like that, it's 1-0 to forward Madison. And we'll see now the reaction from the home side. How will Richmond react to going down 1-0 at home? And another early goal given up by the Richmond kickers. They gave up a goal in the first minute on Tuesday at North Texas Soccer Club. And already tonight, something for this Richmond side to think about. David Bielo talked about this with a total soccer show based out of here, Richmond, Virginia. And he said, well, it's interesting because you don't really want to change this game plan with an early goal. It'll be interesting to see how this game plan does change by the Richmond Kickers. He worked so hard to instill that game plan, and now an early goal. It might change things, but he stuck with that game plan on Tuesday at North Texas. We'll see how they decide to play things here tonight. What David Bielow called a must-win for this Richmond side. Now a little bit more difficult. See the flock in that section. Just a few sections over, actually, from the Red Army. See, 7 0 oh, 2 in scoring first this season. Madison did score first last weekend. It was a 1 1 draw. Ball played forward for Joe Gallardo. Hughes is in the middle. Gallardo! And the flag goes up. Gallardo leaving just a little bit too early. Maybe a missed opportunity there for Richmond's number 10. It's not in the lineup or on the bench on Tuesday for Richmond. Back in the fold here tonight. There is the goal scorer, Danny Tenorio. Second goal of the season. He scored one in Toronto. his first goal of the season. He didn't make his first appearance until June 22nd. He was injured early on in the season. We're now back in the fold. He's 
mostly been rotating with Oliver White, the Memphis 901 Looney, who's now on the bench tonight. And a lot of space here for Carter Manley, we've seen early in this match. Now it's Don Smart. For JC Banks, and Josie L. Nunez now. Banks, the assist last week on the goal from Paolo Jr. Don Smart trying to thread the needle to play it into Carter Manley. It's taken away by Bulldog. Troyer will advance it down this near side. It's Josh Hughes. Uh, knock it back for Connor Shinoski as Richmond looked to play out. David Bulo said this would be one of the games of the season. So far, it's off to an interesting start. With the roadside and Ford Madison getting an early goal. Top, wide off to to Dennis Chin, battle for it. Chin comes away with it. Still Chin on the ball, cross into the box. Cleared away by Carter Manley. That came all the way across the face of goal. Over the right back, who's pinching inside, was able to clear it away. A tasty ball in there from Dennis Chin. He's in fine form himself, looking for Riley Kraft. A new signee. And now it's a Joe Gallardo corner kick up coming for the Richmond Kickers. Gallardo, good service in. It's headed away by Omsberg. Ball retrieved here by Matt Bolduc. will take it on. It did take a deflection. This will go out of play. Looks like another corner kick up coming for the Richmond Kickers. Second corner kick here for Richmond in the past few moments. Supporters groups letting their voices be heard. Making for a really lively atmosphere tonight. Ball sent in. Looks like Magalas got his head to it. Headed it straight out of play. A look at the corner kick. Gallardo's provided good service on both of them tonight. Was Magalas going up with Wyatt Oxberg. Select is the official ball supplier of USL League, one in many of the finest leagues in the world. Since 1947, Select has been the leader in soccer ball quality and innovation. For the latest Select products and special offers, please visit SelectSportAmerica.com. Here's Nunez, plays it wide for Diaz, all the way towards the back post, looking for Tenorio. And it was Magalas to knock it out of play. And now another corner kick coming for Ford Madison. Service really from both of these sides has been pretty spot on. This opening 13 minutes sets up a corner kick here for JC Banks. Provide the outswinger. Oh, he'll take it short instead. Here's Tenorio to the end line. Now by Akwe. This will roll out. Rowan now for Ford Madison. Dale Shore said coming into this match, the team's been playing well, but they have to capitalize on their chances. Can't 
ask for much more than what we've seen so far from forward Madison. Getting that early goal. Daryl Shore has mentioned that many times this season during our conversations. How important early goals can be. Cross in. Didn't get cleared. Got cleared to that far side. We'll go out for a forward Madison corner, or excuse me, throwing again. It's Diaz. Tenorio, now double teamed. Going into the corner. Richmond able to win the throw in. Rosio Nunez thought he was fouled, but play continuing here with Dennis Chin being hounded by Eric Leonard. Like it will be a foul called against Leonard. A look there at the bench of Ford Madison as well, Daryl Shore. You saw on the end of the bench on the far right side, Neil Lavati. He actually played for the Richmond Kickers last year, along with Brandon Eaton and Sean Russell, who are both on the bench tonight for Ford Madison. So a few Richmond connections. First time that Brandon Eaton has been on the bench since July the 9th when he went injured. He went out injured of that match against Lansing Ignite on the road. He had been progressing, joining training, and now finally back into the lineup. Now here's Carter Manley. The way into the middle. Here's Tenorio. And now Diaz. Don Smart. A good ball through, looking for like Paolo Jr. making the run. A little bit too heavy, and Akira Fitzgerald will slide in and take it away. David Velo mentioned it on our call this week. They are playing teams in this run-in that are all directly above them. Minus the final two matches of the season against Toronto and Orlando. Well, technically, Toronto comes in ahead of Richmond tonight in eighth place due to their win yesterday over Orlando. Seems like every team has a tough run in at the end of this season with so many teams congested in the middle. A lot of six pointers, as you like to call them. The ball played wide for Christian Diaz. His cross is blocked. Lockerbie able to clear it, but only as far as Josie El Nunez. Said a loss this weekend would not be ideal for his soccer side. ago was one of the most consistent and undroppable players on this forward mat or excuse me on this Richmond kicker side. Such a staple of this back line for Richmond. We need to play it through. Just take it back by Ford Madison now. Tenorio able to turn looking to play in Paolo Jr. to race to that end line out for a goal kick. Fans who can continue to enjoy the USL on ESPN through the 2022 season. The USL is excited to announce that the championship in League One will remain with the leader in sports for three more years. ESPN Plus will continue to be the home of all things USL in at least 19 games a year. Will be featured on the ESPN family of networks, including nine games on ESPN Deportes. Continue to follow, support, and watch your club on ESPN and ESPN Plus. Well 
Played wide for Lockerbie. Knocked down for Riley Kraft. Now it's Dennis Chin. There's a spin move. It's Lockerbie. Eventually taken back by Ford Madison. for Danny Tenorio. Reflection off of Akwe last, and it will be a throw-in for the Flamingos. Diaz gets it back after the throw-in. For JC Banks. It's White Omsburg. It's taken away by Shinoski as he looks to start the break. Chin will get on the end of it. Gallardo making a run forward, headed away by Eric Leonard. Actually, Don Smart able to retrieve it. 20 minutes here from City Stadium. Early goal coming for Ford Madison. It was Danny Tenorio getting the goal in the sixth minute for the Flamingos. This is what got them off and running in this match. As Amsburg sends a long ball forward. Flag was up for offside on Paolo Jr. Look there at David Bulo. Festive shirt for the night, with it being Heritage Night. to get his side into the playoffs. It will not be an easy task. A lot of work left in front of them starting here tonight. The one nil deficit. And with the golden blonde hair and Joe Gallardo, actually, and Keith Hogg. And Richmond getting back in this match. A great save coming from Brian Silvestre. Riley Kraft made the save on the follow. It's Dennis Chin. And he sends his shot wide. Good build up play. Dennis Chin held it up. And Silvestre was able to make the save on the shot by Riley Kraft. Now a goal kick coming for Brian Silvestre and forward Madison. Save of the night. And in the all-black goalkeeper kit tonight, we've seen a bunch of different colored goalkeeper kits this season. So Mestre settled for the all-black look tonight. Far side for Dennis Chin. A little bit too far and out of play. Get it on the far side. Looking for Gallardo. This cross is deflected out. Another corner kick coming for the Richmond Kickers. Their third of the match. Gallardo will come over to take this right in front of the Red Army.
Gallardo can provide the service we saw on the other corner kicks. To the middle, Akwe got his head to it. And Tenorio will eventually track it down, looking to start a counterattack. Trying to find Don Smart. Ball was intercepted by Kraft. Gonzalez, Richmond look to find that equalizing goal. A look at Daryl Shore, headman for Ford, Madison. Gonna hold on to that last playoff spot. Off to a good start here tonight with the one nil advantage. Gets taken down, but play will continue. Diaz comes over to take the throw in now. Here's Nunez. Now wide for Carter Mamley. In the middle for Banks. through looking for the run of J.C. Banks. Trickles all the way back to Akira Fitzgerald. We go over the top for Dennis Chin and Wyatt Omsberg takes it away and he's now leading the attack. Look how far up he's coming and he's still moving forward. Now he has to track back. Richmond trying to catch him out of position. Here's Gallardo. Over the top, looking for Dennis Chin. Looked like it was Carter Manley sliding back. Helping out Omsberg. It's strided all the way up into the attack. Omsberg was the 15th pick, 2018 draft out of Dartmouth. And seven matches for the big green. rather for Minnesota United, but played many, many more for the Big Green at Dartmouth. Here's Carter Manley now. This comeback for Richmond not going to be easy. This Ford Madison back line really starting to take shape this season. Conceded just four goals in the last eight games. Not giving up multiple goals since July 9th in that match against Lansing Ignite. It was a pretty chaotic finish to that one as well. Three goals scored in top stoppage time. Fortunately, Ford Madison came up short out of the stick on that night. coming out of that North Texas match for David Vila was moving the ball quickly. So they did it really well against Tormenta in that really big 4-1 win for the Richmond Kickers. All sent forward for Kraft. Then his chin on the turn, the shot, and it's saved by Brian Silvestre. Really well done by Dennis Chin to even get a shot away. Able to hold it up, fend off Connor Tobin on the turn. Hard to shot, but it was right at the goalkeeper for Ford Madison, Silvestre. Here's Riley Kraft charging forward. He'll take a shot on. This one nearly spilled. Silvestre, who hops back on top of it. This Gallardo was crashing in. He's pretty lax about that, Brian Silvestre. He just right-handed looked like first. 
was able to, I think he realized at the last moment that Gallardo was making a run for it. As he puts it back in play. Flicked forward for Paolo Jr. Tenorio's in the middle. Paolo Jr. unable to get by Shinoski. And Josh Hughes comes crashing in and he concedes a throw in. Oh, nope. Now it will be a throw in for Richmond. The AR switching his flag. Room to work here for Ford Madison. A little bit too heavy looking for Nunez. Now Banks into the middle. Shot taken on. Don Smart sends this well out of play. It opened up there for Don Smart. Not able to find a connection. Leonard and the giveaway. Riley Kraft now unable to turn up field. All the way back for Akira Fitzgerald. Seven clean sheets on the season for Fitzgerald. 61 saves. Came into the week second place in saves, and then a big performance from Juliano Chaje yesterday. Orlando City B, losing effort. It was Chaje who came up with nine saves in that match. Really good performance from the Orlando goalkeeper, just not in a winning effort. Scarado tries to play it through the middle. And Omsberg ushers this all the way back to Brian Silvestre. Looking for the latest USL League One news and content? Follow at USL League One on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for exclusive access and updates. Kraft keeps possession for Richmond. In the middle for Gallardo. Gallardo takes a shot on. This will bounce into the hands of Brian Silvestre. Something we normally see from Richmond taking shots from well outside the box. Richmond, a team that really likes to find good opportunities, actually towards the bottom in USL League One in total shots. Foul here on the near side on Paolo Jr. league in total shots, 215. Ninth in total goals with 22. And it's JC Banks winning a free kick now for forward Madison. Good position to swing one into the box. It's Troyer. Conceded the foul. Missed the North Texas match due to yellow card suspension. Accumulating five yellow cards so far throughout the season. Now a discussion of how forward Madison wants to deal with this free kick. Be an in-swinger or will be an out-swinger. and Nunez stand over this. Waiting for the referees okay. Real juicy. Will be Banks to take. In swinger looking for that near post. Falls for Carter Manley, his shot is blocked away. 
Richman comes in at the bottom of the league in shots. Well, forward Madison came into tonight with 101 more shots taken this season than the Richmond Kickers. So it is the Richmond Kickers with a better conversion rate by just 1%, 13 to 12. Nunez hits the end line, headed back towards the middle. Here Fitzgerald gets on the end of that Paolo Jr. header. Captain's armband tonight for the Richmond Kickers. Approaching the final 10 minutes of this first half here from City Stadium. Both teams have had opportunities, but Madison been able to take advantage of theirs. That one goal coming early on in this match. The goal goes to Danny Tenorio, the assist to Josiel Nunez in the sixth minute. That's where we stand about 35 minutes. There's Banks, pushes it wide. Hello Jr., back for Banks. tonight for Wyatt Omsberg. We've seen him come up into the attack a few times as well. Nunez, shot from deep, makes a couple hops and into the hands of Akira Fitzgerald. Bullduck. Madison not making it easy on the Richmond kickers so far tonight. Being able to play out of the back. back to Brian Silvestre. Coming into tonight, Daryl Shore saying his team has to prepare for a battle. That's what they've gotten so far, so far. I'd say that a little bit better for it with that one nil advantage. He's not really concerned about whether they get out of this point, or excuse me, get out of this match with style points. It's just all about getting those three points in and moving on. And towards the top of the box, looking for Eric Leonard. And he skies it out of play. Goal kick for the Richmond Kickers. Another look at it here, Nunez. Found Leonard with a lot of room to work. He's charging forward and being closed down by Troyer. Shore said that his team has the ability to win on the road kind of three times this season, but now it's just a matter of having the right mindset, being able to deal with adversity that comes their way. I'd say so far they've capitalized on their opportunities in this match. Ford Madison played four one nil matches in the month of August. They were two and two in those matches. There's a nil-nil draw sandwiched in between all those at Greenville. Which was their last road match. It's been just under a month since their last road match coming at Greenville. And they would be in the comforts of their own home as of late. With three straight home games with Richmond, Greenville, and Tormenta. They're only able to get four points out of those three. The 
the last home game for Ford Madison will be next Sunday. Tenorio towards the end line, and offside is the call. Ford Madison, one more home game, it's against North Texas. The schedule a little bit more interesting for the Richmond kickers. We'll get into more of it at halftime, but upcoming is a long trip to FC Tucson on the 21st. again, is it wide for Diaz. Emily battling for it, goes to ground. And Nunez is able to keep possession for Madison. On the room on that far side for Paolo Jr. Paolo Jr. cuts into the middle of the shot, it spilled, and Tenorio just couldn't keep it down. Fitzgerald was unable to keep hold of that shot, and it nearly fell once again for Danny Tenorio. Oh man, you expect Danny Tenorio to put that in the back of the net nine times out of 10, but unable to do so on that occasion. Richmond kicker is lucky to maybe still be down just by one goal. Golden opportunity for Ford Madison to double its lead. We'll see what these final five minutes before halftime bring. Ford Madison find a second goal or can Richmond level this match up before we go to the 15 minute break? Applying pressure, trying to keep it. It's Matt Bolduck. Seems like he's been all over the field tonight for Richmond. Keeps possession for the kickers. Here's Magalis. Richmond has been very patient in the latter half of this first half, picking their moments going forward. Intent to play out of the back as they are doing so now. Shinovsky. Craft for Gallardo. It's taken down. AC Banks sliding in. Doesn't look like he'll get a yellow card, but a free kick upcoming. Just clipping Gallardo as he went down. Looks like he keeps it in play. Still here for Richmond. And now it's taken away by Nunez as he looks to find an outlet. And maybe Ford Madison can break. Tenorio in an offside position. Madison will have to slow things down. Now they go over the top. All the way back for Akira Fitzgerald.
coming for Richmond here in the final minute of this first half. Instead, now we're hearing there'll be no stoppage time at the end of this first half. Get that officially here in a few moments though. Tobin goes to ground. He get a deflection on it, doesn't look like he did. Now for a goal kick. As Chin and Tobin are tangled up. Another look at it here. Legs tangled up. Tobin is still down. Meyer has meant so much to this Ford Madison side on and off the field here in their inaugural season. We'll put this back in play. And there is the final whistle of the first half. The Craigers stoppage time is nothing here at the end of this first 45 minutes. And as we stand, it is 1-0 to Ford Madison. We'll see what the adjustments are for both of these sides. Danny Tenorio, the goal coming in the sixth minute. You see him there on the right. Conversation between Nunez, Paolo Jr. and Danny Tenorio here at the end of this first half. And the Richmond kickers, some encouragement from their mascot heading off. And that's where things stand after this first 45 minutes. We've hit halftime here at City Stadium. Danny Tenorio providing the go-ahead moment. There have been chances for the Richmond kickers, but at halftime with 45 minutes down and 45 to go, is Ford Madison one and the Richmond Kickers nil. Stay tuned for halftime coming up next here on ESPN Plus. True investigations can take months, even years, to get answers, and that can be difficult. I look at the people who are putting their trust in me. I take that seriously. I've been a journalist for almost 25 years and I still keep in touch with some of these families from one of my first stories that I've ever done. I'm investigative reporter Laura French and I'm working for you. New faces. New players. New ownership. New challenges. New league. New opponents. New rivals. Joyful, authentic, united. Still your team. Still RVA's on. Still the Richmond Kickers. Problem Solvers Investigations with Laura French. Problem Solvers Investigations with Melissa Hippolyte. Tuesday at 11 on CBS 6 News. New faces. New players. New ownership. New challenges. New league. New opponents. New rivals. Joyful. Authentic. United. Still your team. Still RVA's on. Still the Richmond Kickers. Back here at halftime between Ford Madison and the Richmond Kickers. Let's look at what is coming up next for both of these sides. Up next for the Richmond Kickers. Well, they have a very difficult run, a trip all the way to FC Tucson, and then they'll stay on the road for a trip to Chattanooga, and then two games at home to end the season against the two teams that came into the week at the bottom of the table. So chances to potentially get some points there at the end, but David Bulow said it, in the next three games, he needs his team to get nine points. And that means three wins in all three of those games. If they want a chance to get into the playoffs, they have to make up that gap that 
right now is against Forward Madison. On the other side for Forward Madison, their run-in is not easy whatsoever. A, a home match with North Texas next Sunday, and then a short week and a trip to FC Tucson, and then they end the season at Lansing Ignite FC. It is not going to be an easy run-in for Forward Madison as they try to hold on to that fourth playoff spot that they came into tonight with. It'll be very interesting to see what happens there. As for North Texas Soccer Club, they're the first team to have clinched a playoff spot here in 2019. The first to 50 points, the first to 15 wins, and Ronaldo Demis just doing what he does best and scoring goals. He is 16 on the year, and that leads all of USL League One. They also have the assist leader in Arturo Rodriguez. This team has been stellar all year long. We take a look at what is upcoming for all of these teams. Let's look at Greenville, that big 4-0 win over Tucson yesterday. They have Toronto up next, and then they have a road game at Tucson, and then they, they also do play Orlando in there, and then Tormenta as they try to hold on to that three spot. Lansing Ignite also have an open week on their schedule. The next four in the race to get into these playoffs, well, it's not gonna be easy for any of these teams, and you see how many of these teams are playing teams right above them and that will make things that much more interesting with Richmond especially. They play Madison who's above them, Tucson, Chattanooga. So it'll be an interesting run. And let's go check out what's going around, on around the USL. as well. That's a good point. Let's wait and see if they do. As Kamara absolutely flies past Tete for face. Here's Kamara. And a brilliant save from Cody Mizell. Mohamed Kamara is causing problems. Mikey Rowe now. Rowe takes it on and it's in. What a strike. And Tormenta. They strike first. Some news and notes from around USL League One, North Texas Soccer Club, the first to clinch a berth in the semifinals, and the first of 50 points in the league. But right below them, it's Lansing Ignite, and then three through seven. Boy, is it so razor thin in between those few teams. Greenville getting a win last night, pushes them up just a little bit more, but still just a two-point gap between four and seven. And then the player of the week, Pato Botello Faz, two goals and an assist in that win over Tucson last Friday, that big 5-0 win for Lansing Ignite. A look at the standings coming into today, and you see just how important this match is tonight for the Richmond Kickers. They have one less game played than every team in the league except for a few who are at 25 but it is so close and Richmond really needs 
to get up those standings. If, if they want to find themselves into the playoffs, you see Ford Madison holding on to that fourth spot coming into tonight. And a look at the upcoming schedule. Another busy week in USL League One as we wind this season down. It gets going on Friday with Toronto paying a visit to Greenville. Well, Ford Madison will play on Sunday in the final match of the week against North Texas Soccer Club while Richmond heads to Tucson. One more break, highlights, and the second half from City Stadium coming up next here on ESPN+. Plus. We'll slow you down. We go from three lanes just down to two. So if you are heading downtown, make sure that you're using extreme caution. Jim. Huh? Hey, Jim. Me? Yes. Hey, are you looking for these? Yes. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. Be careful heading down 64. Traffic is backed up. I will. Thank you. She just talked to me. Wrap That's up. happy. New faces. New players. New ownership. New challenges. New league. New opponents. New rivals. Joyful. Authentic. United. Still your team. Still RV is on. Still the Richmond Kickers. Central Virginia, and it's a good thing they are. CBS 6 This Morning. New faces. New players. New ownership. New challenges. New league. New opponents. New rivals. Joyful. Authentic. United. Still your team. Still RV is on. Still the Richmond Kickers. Back here at City Stadium, halftime between the Richmond Kickers and Ford Madison. 1 0 to the away side here tonight in Richmond, Virginia. It's been an exciting first half. Let's show you those first half highlights. And it got going right off the bat for Ford Madison. Josiel Nunez, the ball all the way through. Magal is caught sleeping, and Danny Tenorio able to slot it into that right corner. And a dream start for Ford Madison. A goal coming in the sixth minute of play. And for Danny Tenorio, his second goal on the season. He missed much of the early season due to injury, but gets an early goal here tonight. And then on the other end, there would be ch chances and opportunities for this Richmond attack, Dennis Chin, this ball all the way across the face of goal before Carter Manley knocks it out of play. A near chance there at the back post for Riley Kraft. Then, Ford Madison would try to find a second goal. It's a good ball towards the back post, but Ivan Magalis was alert to this one and able to knock it out of play. Then back the other way, you just go back and forth. The shot by Riley Kraft was saved, and then Dennis Chin at the top of the box, and his shot would go out of play. Riley Kraft has been good in this match. And the new signing, just within the past month, has done well in the first 45. This shot by Dennis Chin on the turn. Really good job by Chin to even get a shot away. But the Jamaican has his shot saved in the end by Silvestre. Then Riley Kraft will take on another shot. Silvestre nearly spills it. And gets on top of it before Joe Gallardo was able to pounce and put it in the back of the net. A few more opportunities would come for Ford Madison at the end of this first half. Hello Jr. cutting inside and nearly a second goal for Danny Tenorio. As Akira Fitzgerald unable to make the catch. And Tenorio puts it over the crossbar. So close. There for Ford Madison as we take a look at the match stats from that first half. It's been pretty even across the board in terms of possession, shots on target. But what will happen in this second half? Ford Madison trying to get up to 36 points and create some separation 
from them along with Chattanooga and Tormenta. Take a look at the scoreboard from other matches going on around the league. We saw that match last night. Greenville getting the big 4-0 win over FC Tucson, but the big score line at halftime currently, Lansing Ignite 3 and Chattanooga Red Wolves 2. As things stand now, it would be Ford Madison opening up a three-point gap on Chattanooga while Tormenta and North Texas will go at it later tonight. That game actually kicking off just about now, also on ESPN+. So now back for the second half. What will transpire in this last 45 minutes? It's an important 45 minutes for both of these teams. R Richmond hanging on by a thread to try to get into that playoff picture and up close to that top four. And as things stand now, it is Ford Madison looking to maybe close that gap a little bit with Greenville triumph, even though that Greenville does have a game in hand against Ford Madison. So a big second half upcoming here from Richmond. Kickers feel like have to find three points, while Ford Madison trying to find their first win since the 24th of August, that 1-0 win over the Richmond Kickers. As things stand now, it would be Ford Madison getting their 10th win of the season. There's the whistle underway in this second 45 minutes. It's 1-0 to Ford Madison. Well, the Richmond Kickers have something to say about that here in this second 45 minutes. Madison has not lost a match when they've scored first. They're 7-0-2. Trying to stay undefeated when they do score that first goal. Season-defining night, really, for both of these sides. Here's Connor Tobin. Now it's Christian Diaz trying to start something early here in this second half. J.C. Banks looking to keep it in in the corner. He does. Almost goes down. Battling with Shinoski, crossed into the middle. Eventually it's Magalas, and then Troyer who comes away with it. Now here's Riley Kraft, right through the middle. Here's Eli Lockaby. Into the middle for Joe Gallardo. And Matt Bolduck. for Troyer, that was kind of by Eric Leonard. Mahabakwe yeah. now. Foul goes against Eric Leonard. Riley Kraft hits the field. Red Army making some noise here tonight. They try to inspire this Richmond kicker side to try to get back into this match and find an equalizer. Showed you the upcoming schedule for both of these sides. A lot of it will have to be done on the road. Straight road matches upcoming for Richmond before they end the season with two straight home matches against Toronto and Orlando. Back into the middle. Richmond able to keep possession. Here's Akwe. Lofted over the top. Played out for Richmond throwing. Really 
really been a fun atmosphere so far tonight here at City Stadium. With the flock on their eruption tour. Delivering Wisconsin beer to a bunch of different supporters groups of across the Midwest, down in North Carolina as well before they made the trip here to Richmond. And of course, the Red Army providing the drums and the soundtrack for every match here at City Stadium. down the far side for Matt Bolduck. Braden Troyer for Gallardo. Troyer gets it right back. Play for Gallardo. Akwe. Played wide for Lockerbie. Once again, this Richmond attack, very, very patient. in by Magalis. Plays it to that far left side. Gallardo now gets it. He'll go for goal, and this one caught. Relative ease by Brian Silvestri. A look at it. Gallardo trying to force the issue just a little bit. As the patience run out. Ran out there by Richmond. 40 minutes left to find an equalizing goal. Banks is taken down, foul called against Bulldog. Not too pleased about the decision. by Troyer. Push in the back came from Wyatt Omsberg as Gallardo went down. The ball was being played through to him. Another look at it there. The yellow card issue to Wyatt Omsberg. So Gallardo picks himself up off the pitch. Amsberg now, who has to be cognizant of any more challenges he makes in this match. Yellow card to the Minnesota United Loney. Gallardo to stand over this. One man wall for Ford Madison. The decision be Joe Gallardo. There's that big cluster of players towards the end line. Akwe was there. There will be a foul called against Wahab Akwe and it's Connor Tobin reaching for that lower back. Still down on the field. He's been in some rough challenges here tonight. As he gets back to his feet. Paolo Jr. 
by Akwe towards the top of the box, looking for Banks. Runs through for Don Smart. His cross towards the back post, and it's just wide. Paolo Jr., that was almost a carbon copy of what we saw last week in Madison, albeit the cross was sent by J.C. Banks, but Don Smart, just a peach of a pass, and Paolo Jr. was left all alone. I feel like Akira Fitzgerald would have had that post covered. Still a good opportunity coming for Ford Madison, maybe their best of this second half so far. It's been mostly controlled by the Richmond kickers. Handball will be called against Riley Kraft. Paolo Jr. It's cut out by Akwe. Now here's Kraft. Gonna work on the far side, left it behind Bolduck. Carter Manley was able to win it back for Madison. As they look to turn back upfield. Madison hold on to this match here tonight. They were unable to do so last week. Equalizer scored late in the second half by Tormenta. Tonight they are looking for their sixth clean sheet. Richmond looking to find that equalizing goal. in by Connor Tobin with Gallardo going down and a set piece for the Richmond kickers on this near side. Lockaby and Gallardo stand over it. Who eventually decides to take this. Take it short. The referee wasn't quite ready. Real Juicy. Now they're ready to go. Gallardo will now take his time to set this in place. Gallardo provided service on every set piece so far tonight. This one swinging towards the back post. Akwe was up for it, unable to keep it down. Out for a goal kick. Oh, he's been dangerous on set pieces so far. He's trying to hold something up at the back post. A few prior in that time. He's going for goal, just not able to keep it down. Dallas tracks back and wins it back for Richmond. Right, something into the middle now, it's Riley Kraft. Played wide for Eli Lockerbie. Gallardo on the turn, on his left foot. Skies this well out of play. Gallardo has been trying to force the issue so far in this second half doing so far. Fans of the USL and Village Elite Youth Platform, USL Academy. This allows clubs at all levels across the USL to develop its local youth and compete at the highest level across the United States, including the USL Academy Cup. For more information, visit uslsoccer.com forward slash academy. Richmond, a few chances here in this second half. They need to 
find that one moment that can give them an equalizer. Ball runs out of play now on the other end. And we'll see what the substitution pattern could be for David Bulow, Daniel Jackson. Scored that late goal against forward Madison on August 10th. He's waiting on the bench. Maxi Rodriguez, Mutaya Mwape. Three attacking options that could come on. Gallardo trying to switch the field, looking for Josh Hughes. This one skips all the way out of play. Other side for Ford Madison where we see the return of Brandon Eaton tonight. Shrimpariga Toyama, Louis Bennett, Sean Russell all providing some defensive cover for Daryl Shore. Should he decide to go that route at the end of this match? Beautiful touch by Joe Gallardo and then by Dennis Chin. To very, very good on the ball. Each scored a brace a few weeks ago at Tormenta. Been trying to replicate some of that success here tonight. It's taken away by Paolo Jr. He looks directly upfield. Don Smart to that far right side. Danny Tenorio is taken down by Ivan Magales. Tenorio waits a moment to get back to his feet. Good view of that. Dallas just swipes at Danny Tenorio. Nunez will put it back in play, looking for Carter Manley. It's a deflection out for a throw in now for Richmond. Looks like a potential sub readying for Madison as Dennis Chin comes. Taken down by Don Smart, who has to be careful. He is one yellow card away from a yellow card accumulation suspension. Gallardo, the two players that can't get yellow cards tonight. Akwe now. For Lockerbie. And Bullduck trying to back heel for Lockerbie. Unable to do so. It's Danny Tenorio who comes away with it. There's Diaz. Now it's Paolo Jr. For Banks, in the middle for Nunez, and a giveaway to Dennis Chin. Play will continue. Looked like Eric Leonard collided with Dennis Chin. Chin picks himself up as play continues with Riley Kraft. Couldn't get by Josiel Nunez. Going to play it through for Paulo Jr. Wahabakwe. He's there to it just in front of the Brazilian. Sub readying for Ford Madison on the far side will be Sean Russell to make his return here to Richmond. Not coming at the next possible moment. In the meantime, it's Don Smart into the middle. The referee, Gabriel Giusti, waves it away. It's quickly won back by Ford Madison. Don Smart gets up. Nunez is it wide for Manley. Reading for Richmond as well. 
See if you really hit a turning point. The substitution's coming on. Banks needs to chip it over the top for Don Smart. Banks gets taken down, a heavy challenge, and straight to the pocket for Ivan Magalis. Eric Leonard does not like that. And now, these two teams have seen a lot of each other over the past month. A lot on the line tonight. And emotions really coming to a head on the heavy challenge on J.C. Banks. The yellow card for Ivan Magalis. Nubia talking to with the AR. Another look at this challenge. Just taking out that right leg was Magalis. is here. He's talking with the AR. Gabriel Giusti went straight to his pocket, pulled out a yellow. I don't believe he's given the yellow card as of yet. Still holding that yellow card in his hand. Magalis does get that yellow card. Might be lucky because that was a heavy, heavy challenge coming in from Magalis. It's a set-piece opportunity now for Ford Madison. Also some subs readying. We'll see how this all plays out. This could add on a few extra minutes of stoppage time at the end. wants a little bit more from the referees. The trainer coming over to make sure Banks is okay. He's able to stay on the field. Looks like we'll wait for the substitutions just a little bit longer. set piece, the substitutions will have to wait. Long stoppage here. Looks like we will get those substitutions. So Sean Russell makes his return to Richmond. His first pro contract was last year with the Richmond Kickers. The Chesapeake, Virginia native back here in Virginia, able to make an appearance here at City Stadium. That's the sub for Madison. A few more were coming for Richmond. Looks like we'll get those in a moment. Nunez, ball into the box, headed away by Magalis. This one cleared out of play by Don Smart. And now we will get the substitutions for the Richmond kickers will be Scott Thompson to replace Eli Lockabee. Amutaya Mwape will also come on. And Josh Hughes will be replaced for Mutaya Mwape as well. So Thompson and Mwape on. Hughes and Lockabee are replaced. Fairly like-for-like -like substitutions. I see Matt Bulldog now move out to one of the wings. We'll see how this shape looks now for David Bulo. It's Paolo Jr. Going ahead for Tenorio. Guape, his first touch on the ball. He's able to keep possession for Richmond. So two subs used by the Richmond Kickers, one sub used by Ford Madison. Hunter Tobin, the first time he's been replaced during a match this season. The ball to flex out for a throw-in. So the 
we'll see how this Ford Madison team reacts without Connor Tobin. He has played in nearly every match this season. 23 starts. Have not been subbed off this season. Here's Akwe now. Coming forward, he takes a shot on. And out of play. A goal kick up coming for Brian Silvestre and forward Madison. Who's up, who's down, where does your club sit? Find out every Monday in the official USL League One Power Rankings only on uslleagueone.com. Richmond was climbing those power rankings in the past week. 4-0 loss might affect that a little bit if they lose this one here tonight. Not only put a damper on their power ranking position, but on their playoff chances as well. Manley wins it back. Showing that physicality. McDonald is able to knock it back for Akira Fitzgerald. Russell did get the start last week. Started that outside back for this Florida Madison back line. He Transition from right back to center back this season. See the possession stats. It's been pretty even across the board in this match. But still Richmond looking for that equalizer. Ford Madison has not been an easy nut to crack this season. by Gallardo showing off that nifty footwork once again. 20 minutes to go here from City Stadium. It's been a fun match so far. How will this conclude? Knocked out by Manley for throwing rather than a corner. Quickly taken in for Thompson. Diaz was there towards the top of the box. Headed away. Janowski will keep possession for Richmond. Played wide for Gallardo now. Little step overs by Gallardo. Good ball in. It bounces into the hands of Silvestre. Riley Kraft was waiting at the near post. Ford Madison goalkeeper. Able to deny that opportunity. by Silvestre. He's done smart. So we'll roll out for a goal kick. We're waiting on another Ford Madison substitution. Get that in just a few moments. It'll be Jiro Bariga Toyama to come on. Now Danny Tenorio will be the one replaced, the goal scorer from tonight for the Flamingos. comes the substitution. Danny Tenorio will be the one coming off and Gabriel Giusti coming over to tell him he needs to start walking the other way. He was walking away. So will be Jiro Bariga Toyama to come on. It's his 23rd appearance on the season. On the goal score, Danny Tenorio makes the slow walk off. Second sub used tonight by Daryl Shore. Toyama comes on, a left-sided player. Here comes now the throw-in. Far side by Richmond. 
expect Toyama to slot in at that, on that left side. Ball sent in. This will bounce all the way through and out of play. Well, maybe not. It's kept in by Thompson. Spoke too soon. This play continues with Don Smart. Knock away. The giveaway. Team that equalizing goal. He's off the side of his shirt for the evening as well. Here's Russell. Toyama now on the ball. Send off Otaya Mwape. He is now with it. Middle for Nunez. Madison enters this final 15 minutes with a 1 0 advantage. On the home side tonight, the Richmond Kickers can they find an equalizing goal? 15 minutes to go. Cross in. Headed away by Akwe. It's still there. Ball to the top of the box. Nunez, his shot's blocked. Leonard heads it down. Toyama comes away with it. Keeps possession for Ford Madison. Toyama, he provides the service towards the back post. JC Banks was up for it, put it directed on frame. Very close. Here by JC Banks, got up over Magalas, couldn't put it on frame. We enter these last 15 minutes. Both of these teams the highest percentage of goals throughout a 15 minute span in these last 15. So what will we get here tonight? There's Diaz finding some space to run, keeping possession. Now it's Paolo Jr. Paolo Jr. into the box. And Magales was tracking back and able to keep it. Diaz and Paolo Jr. leading the breaks all by themselves. In the end, it's cut out by Richmond center back. Waiting on one more sub for Richmond. Hearing it will be Charles Boateng to come on. Here's Banks. In. It's cut out towards the top of the box for Nunez. And he gets taken down. A heavy challenge from Braden Troyer. And he sees the yellow card. Another look at the challenge here. Nunez is upended there. Those studs were showing, and that's why Gabriel Giusti went to his pocket. So 
set piece opportunity. What a big moment this could be. Nunez and Banks stand over it. Richmond set up their wall. Four man wall. Akira Fitzgerald gets everybody set. And it looks like we'll get that last substitution. It's Charles Boateng who will come on. Well, maybe not yet. Braden Troyer who will come off. Get one more opportunity here. Nunez takes, going for the corner and just wide. So close from Josiel Nunez. Sent Akira Fitzgerald diving to his left. And now we get that substitution. Another look at the yellow card. So the last play that Troyer will have any influence on tonight. He's into the book and he's off the pitch as well. Charles Boateng is the one to come on, making his 11th appearance on the season. Foul on Eric Leonard. Get into the final 10 minutes tonight from City Stadium. Richmond keep their season alive. I feel like it's going to be very difficult for them to reach that top four without at least a point tonight feel like you need three points. Wyatt Omsberg. And a foul against Connor Chinoski. Boateng will slow things down. Headed away by Akwe. Gallardo trying to play it forward for Dennis Chin. All into the middle. Diaz was alert to it. Diaz over the top of Gallardo. A job well done to keep possession. Oh, Junior goes down away from the ball. Bulldog not able to keep it in play. One more substitution available for Daryl Shore and Ford Madison. David Bilo has used all three of his tonight in Thompson, Boateng, and Wape. Long ball into the box towards the back post. to Kira Fitzgerald comes to claim it. He distributes quickly here to Matt Bolduck. Look now for Chin. And now Gallardo. there to intercept. Seems like the chances have been few and far between in the second half. For the Richmond kickers, they've been patient in their buildup. They did come in with the least amount of shots in the league to this game tonight. They have not been able to find their moment yet. wide. Service in, flicked along. Diaz was there to clear it away. JC Banks dumps it away. Great service in from that far side for the Richmond kickers. And it was Scott Thompson, the substitute. Missed there at the near post. Fitzgerald. 
J.C. Banks goes down. It's away from the play. Sending that ball in. Will this be it for J.C. Banks? So one more sub available for Ford Madison. So a few people getting their jerseys ready on the far side. back to his feet. What will the decision be here? Daryl Shore. We will get a substitution. It will not be J.C. Banks coming out. It will actually be Josiel Nunez to make way, but Banks will have to come off the field as the trainer came on. And it will be another homecoming for Brandon Eaton played with the Richmond Kickers last season. And he is back after a knee injury kept him on the sideline for nearly two months. His first match since July 9th. As Josiel Nunez will be the one to come off. As the board now goes up. A little bit of confusion here, but Nunez looks like will be the one to come off. A hand for the flock making all their noise and Brandon Eaton back on the field for Ford Madison. It was big for Madison to get him back. Daryl Shore said last week the hope was to get him back here tonight. He played with Richmond and he's just another player in the midfield. And his dynamic can give him some energy. As he can help with the combination play as well. We'll see what he can do in these final five minutes as Ford Madison look to see this match out. All into the box. Down, play will continue. No foul by the referee. The crowd here at City Stadium trying to encourage the Richmond kickers on. Ball played ahead for Paolo Jr. He tries to get by Shinovsky, eventually gets by Magalis as well. And then Thompson, three, four, and five. Long cross towards the back post. Who gets on the end of it? Gio Bariga Toyama. Takes it on that left foot. Actually deflects off of him. Throwing now for Richmond. We're getting in the latter stages of this one tonight. All three subs have been used by both teams. And now be Richmond to find something out of this match. It will be Madison to come on the road and steal three points. Red Army sure hope Richmond can at least find a goal here tonight. David Dulo, a coach that holds himself to such high standards. He says he apologizes to the Red Army don't get a result at home. I think he wants to have to do that tonight. Wape. Playing it wide for Bullduck. Played wide. And his chin towards the end line. Back towards the back post. And it looks like the ball went out of play. And a goal kick will now be for forward Madison. Dennis Chin doesn't like that. Two minutes here. Update you on some scores from around the league. Lansing Ignite in Chattanooga level at three in the 86th minute. And in the other match, Tormenta North Texas 1-1 nearing halftime. This match concludes. Head over there. The conclusion of that one. For 
Riga Toyama. Defended over the top. Which been able to win it back. As things stand now. Across the league, Ford Madison would open up a two-point gap between them and then fifth place, Tormenta. Still time left here. We're hearing there could be as many as six minutes of stoppage time. So there could be a significant amount still left in this match. Mwape comes back in the middle. Referee tells him to get right back up. The final minute of regular time. Dennis Chin, cleared away by Carter Manley. Manley comes quickly. Sense of urgency here, picking up by Richmond. As Madison might be forced to defend quite a bit here in the latter stages. Here's Bolduck. Left footed cross, it was a good one. And cleared away. And a foul eventually comes on Mwape. The official word on stoppage time here in just a moment. There will be six minutes of stoppage time, and it is brought to you by Craigers. Fitzgerald, so still plenty of time left for Richmond to find an equalizer tonight. All play to the near side. It's Matt Bolduck. Now for Akwe, trying to tee one up. Curler towards the back post, headed away by Omsberg. Shot, took a deflection. This will go out, and it looks like a corner kick for the Richmond kickers. Good ball in by Akwe. Go for Thompson. Took a slight deflection there off of Carter Manley. And it will be a corner kick. Looks like Thompson will take it. So an in-swinger coming. Good ball in towards the back post. It's still there and cleared off the line by Don Smart. Bullduck. Looking to find a teammate towards the far side. Akwe, they're asking for offside. Play will continue. Ball in towards the near post. Headed away by Omsberg. Balls for Akwe again. Another deflected cross towards the top of the box. And a foul will be called. They are down for forward Madison. Ryan Omsberg who went down. A number of balls into the box. Good service provided for nearly everyone. John Smart was able to clear it off the line before the foul was called. Both supporters groups still trying to encourage their teams. They have opposite agendas here tonight. Midway through the minimum of six minutes of stoppage time.
over the top. Dennis Chin is there. It takes a heavy bounce and into the hands of Silvestre, who will go down. It's all the way back downfield. Gallardo. He's played to the near side for Bullduck and was a little bit behind him. Smoke released there by the Red Army. But it might be need to forget for the Richmond kickers. Here's Toyama. Madison has only conceded four goals in the last eight games. Their back line is really locked down as of late. Back by Akwe. Coming now from Ford Madison. As we reach the final minute here tonight from City Stadium. Is there one more attack left in this match for the Richmond Kickers? Dallas able to keep possession. Maybe one last attacking move for the Kickers. Here's Kraft. For Akwe, back for Kraft. To find something up the field. A lot of room for Bullduck to work. Towards the middle, cleared away by Leonard. Rowan now coming for Richmond. Bullduck quickly gets it in for Akwe. His service towards the back post, headed on. It's right at Silvestre. And that might be the last chance for the Richmond Kickers. Silvestre will clear this away. There's the final whistle. All three points for Ford Madison. They've come on the road and they've earned a 1-0 victory over the Richmond Kickers. What a night it was between these two sides. A really competitive match. You see what that does for Richmond. They're now eight points behind Madison, and that means they are eight points behind the playoff line. These two teams have seen a lot of each other as of late, but for Ford Madison, what a big night this is for them. The goal scorer, Danny Tenorio, they're on the right. What a game it was. The goal came all the way back in the sixth minute. And another 1-0 win for Ford Madison. Tenorio gets his second of the season, but it finishes Ford Madison 1, Richmond 0. We'll come back and wrap things up here from City Stadium right after this break. New faces. New players. New ownership. New challenges. New league. New opponents. New rivals. Joyful. Authentic. United. Still your team. Still RVA's on. Still the Richmond Kickers. It's not just Sac's daydream. For the most epic weather coverage in Central Virginia, trust the CBS 6 Weather Authority. New faces. 
New players. New ownership. New challenges. New league. New opponents. New rivals. Joyful. Authentic. United. Still your team. Still RVA's on. Still the Richmond Kickers. Now the flock, they made the drive all the way here to Richmond, Virginia, and they get to celebrate tonight a 1-0 win for Ford Madison. We take a look at the highlights from this one. Well, the goal, it was basically the first thing that happened in this match six minutes in. The ball played through for Josiel Nunez. Ivan Magales loses track of Danny Tenorio, and he scores his second goal of the season. And what a moment that was for Ford Madison. It would eventually be the game-winning goal. Who would have known that in the sixth minute there would be chances for both sides throughout this match. The second half, though, was particularly dominated by this Ford Madison side. But in the first half, there would be opportunities for the Richmond kickers. This one coming from Riley Kraft. And then the shot by Dennis Chin going wide. And then it would be Kraft once again teeing it up from deep. It was Silvestre who nearly spilled it. And he was able to get back on top of it to claim it. And then back the other way for Ford Madison. Paolo Jr. building forward. His shot taking a bounce right in front of Akira Fitzgerald. And then Tenorio sent it over the bar. Easily could have been a brace for Danny Tenorio, but it wasn't meant to be there on that occasion. And then into the second half. There would be chances for Ford Madison. Richmond, honestly, they had a few chances in front of goal, but you might call them half chances. At the end of the half, there was some good service in the box, but in the end, Richmond unable to get a goal on 13 shots while six of them went on target. They had the possession as well, but it's Ford Madison who come away with the 1-0 victory. So that is going to do it tonight from City Stadium. What an exciting match this was. Danny Tenorio gets the game-winning goal, and Ford Madison able to extend their lead at the fourth place spot. They still hold that lone playoff spot in fourth place. So that does it tonight from Richmond, Virginia for our entire crew. I am Josh Eastern saying so long from Richmond where it finishes Richmond nil and Madison one. Stay tuned for much more USL League One action here on ESPN Plus. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League, League One, cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League, League One.